I'm going to present what I've been hacking on for the last couple of weeks. Um, it's called Web Transport. Web Transport is a new protocol developed by the ITF in the W3C. Um, conceptually, it's basically like WebSockets, but over Quick. So it gives you all the nice, uh, all the nice advantages uh, that Quick has: uh, stream multiplexing at the transport layer, so no head of line blocking. It gives you a faster handshake. It gives you better uh, hole punching success rates. It gives you um, advanced uh, loss recovery and congestion control, and um, all the reasons why we love uh, why we love Quick. But this is not the reason I'm I'm excited about web transport actually. And the reason I'm excited about web transport is because it is it allows us to do things that web sockets didn't allow us to do. And the reason for this is that the browser handles um, web transport different from web sockets. Uh, in web sockets, the browser always wanted to see um, um, a real TLS certificate. So a TLS certificate that was signed by, um, by a certificate authority, for example, Let's Encrypt. And this also works in web transport, but there's another option. It's called the server certificate hashes. Uh, and basically what it does, it's uh, you, can, you can tell the browser, um, accept a certificate that has a certain hash. And then uh, the browser performs the TLS handshake, looks at the certificate, and if the hash of the certificate matches, it will accept that one. Um, so this is great for, for LibP2P because uh, we were never able to, to get uh, TLS certificates for all of our, uh, for all of our LibP2P nodes, um, but shipping around the hash, that's totally something we can do. So I started uh, programming. Um, I have this Web Transport Go library now, um, still a work in progress. Uh, it builds on our, our quick stack uh, on, on quick go um, and it can do uh, basic things now and I'm going to show you now. Um, so let's um, let's just start up a server. And one thing to keep in mind here, I will now go to um, um, go to example.com, which is mapped to localhost. The reason is um, that Chrome, for some reason, refuses to do quick connections to localhost. So you have to uh, map it internally to some kind of domain name, and then you can establish a quick connection. Um, so we are just going to use the web developer tools. And first, we'll try to um, establish a connect. Oh, this is very small. And let me, yes. OK. Um, try to establish a web transport connection to example.com slash web transport, which is the server here at localhost. So what happens? Um, we get a, a quick protocol error because the, the certificate is unknown. Now we can, um, this is because we, we just used the URL. We didn't pass in the hash uh, anywhere. Um, so now let's use the hash of the certificate here. Um, So now we're telling the browser this this hash is okay, and then um, pass in the server certificate hashes uh, uh, option. Um, tell it that the algorithm is a SHA-256 and the value is uh, what we just entered here. By the way, I just wish that somebody came up with a solution to have a self-describing hash function. Somebody should really do that. So now we have a uh, we have a web transport connection. Uh, it works. Um, let's go one step further and actually use that connection. So we can open a stream on this connection and then um, send something. Let's say we send a hello world. And there we go. So this works now. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, if you think that this could be useful for your project, uh, that you would want to use this, please, please get in touch.